over it, guys. Let's do this. Just finished up chatting with a good friend, and what's really stuck in my mind right now is the idea of opportunity. Many years ago, chatting with some guys, and I'd been working away at something for about 15 years at that point, and 10 or 15 years, somewhere in there. And we were talking about something, and it came up, and the one guy kind of just off the cuff made a comment about, well, not everybody gets opportunities like that. And I just stopped. Pardon? It's, it sounds to me like you just suggested that what I'm working on right now is the result of luck. And he said, well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's luck. Not everybody gets opportunities like that. And I just stopped talking. Because, <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> to know someone for a number of years and to know what they've been spending their time on and then after things start to s just sort of work out for them in that area to suggest that it's the result of luck. Uh, there's so much brainwashing that has to have gone on for that person to think that. It's it's laughable. Literally laughable. It's it's insane. So, you know, don't don't go telling people they're lucky because of what they have. There's very, very few people who just lucked on anything. Usually when somebody gets a good opportunity is because they did the work and they were ready like why why do lottery winners lose everything look it up if you don't believe me statistically lottery winners go bankrupt and end up divorced and with drug you know addictions or alcoholism they're better off without the 10 million dollars and why is that it's because they haven't done the work i'm going to say something here and you're going to get triggered they don't deserve it there how triggered do you feel right now now let's see what your counter argument is to the following if you make thirty-five thousand dollars a year or forty-five thousand dollars a year and you you know, feed your family off that. You're fairly adept at getting by on little. And you can manage that small amount of money effectively. However, if tomorrow you woke up and you had $10 million in your bank account, you wouldn't have the slightest idea what to do with it beyond buying groceries and, like, paying off your car or something. Right? It's a very, you know... Don't get nitpicky on me here. Be realistic. It's a very short list of things that you would know what to do with it. You wouldn't be able to spend the $10 million effectively. You wouldn't be able to invest it effectively. You would have absolutely zero experience managing that sum of cash. That is why you don't, or they don't, or whoever we're talking about here, is not deserved. Plain and simple. Now, for another person who's used to managing that kind of money, perhaps for an employer, or perhaps because they've worked up to it themselves personally, or through business, that person may deserve it. Because they've worked up to it, and they know actually what to do with it, and in 10 years' time, that 10 million, or 2 years' time, whatever time frame, that's kind of irrelevant, but that 10 million will not be the reason why they failed. It's like money. People say money is an amplifier. I think that's very true. If you're good at managing cash or assets in general, $10 million will get managed well and you'll multiply it. And it's a good thing. If you're not, $10 million is a problem. Right? So it's just purely being logical. So if we're talking about opportunity, you know, like how many, how many people do you know that you think are overnight successes and why, why do you think they're an overnight success? 
How many people do you know personally who are succeeding beyond you? And just be honest with yourself. What do you what do you think? Do you think that they got lucky? Do you think that it was given to them, it was handed to them? Do you think that they deserve it or don't deserve it? Be honest with yourself and then ask your why, yourself why. Because this is very important because this will affect your personal trajectory through life and career and finance. Your attitude likely needs to shift. Well, yeah, taking this back to my experience with somebody actually knowing me through the time where I was working very hard on something and then suggesting that the little tiny bit of success I was encountering at that moment was luck. (laughs) A person's no further ahead today than they were then. And I can see very clearly that their attitude and their views have held them back. And I know for a fact that my attitude and views have held me back. I spoke in another video of environment and the people around you. Your perspective very much be shaped by your, you know, your peer group, right? So if you hear somebody say, oh, they're so lucky, do you just smile and nod along? Yup. (laughs) Or do you actually think about it and form your own opinion? Those are some some things maybe for you to ponder while you drive to and from work or while you're waiting for your coffee to, to perk if you do that sort of thing. So yeah, opportunity. There's a saying, opportunity shows up, dress in coveralls and looks like work. Do the work. If you want to get lucky, be ready. Right. If you want to catch the ball, have your glove on. Right. And have your eyes on it. So, all that being said, I'd love to know your thoughts. Comment below. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.